Hey guys, Shia Lee here with your weekly entertainment news. Bollywood actress Nora Fateh has filed a case of defamation against her fellow film industry actress, Jacqueline Fernandez, for allegedly making, quote, defamatory imputations against her due to malicious reasons. Besides that, the actress and reality show judge has also sued at least 15 media organizations for making defamatory comments against her. As per a report in India Today, Nora has also said that in her plea, quote, Jacqueline Fernandez sought to criminally defame the complainant in order to destroy her career to further her own interests since they both are working in the same industry and have similar backgrounds, amongst other reasons. <sighs> The whole matter is related to a money laundering case against Sukesh Chandrasekhar, where both Nora and Jacqueline were questioned by the ED or Enforcement Directorate. Nora has alleged that Jacqueline, in her plea to the court, stated that she was being falsely implicated by the ED, while celebs such as Nora also received gifts from the con man, and they were made witnesses. Ooh. Let's see how this plays out. Known for his interesting genre of films, Ranbir Kapoor recently revealed that he would like to retire from the genre of rom-coms. <gasps> That's half of Bollywood. The actor recently attended the Red Sea International Film Festival in Jeddah and also saw his cousin Karina Kapoor Khan and brother-in-law Saif Ali Khan walk the red carpet last week. While the Kapoor boy received a grand welcome owing to his massive fan following, they were finally left disappointed when the actor maintained that his upcoming film with Shraddha Kapoor, directed by Love Ranjan, might be one of his last in the genre. Although many heroes continue to explore the rom-com genre despite their age, Ranveer believes that he should retire from this because of his age. During the film festival, he was quoted in saying, I don't know that it is possibly going to be one of the last romantic comedies I do because I'm getting older. Bro, you ain't old. Ranbir was last seen in the hit Pramashtra and was on a paternity break after the birth of his daughter Raha with actress Alia Bhatt. The actor has the Love Rajan film Tu Juti Mamagar, co-starring Shraddha Kapoor, and the Sandeep Vegna Reddy film Animal in the Pipeline. S.S. Rajmoli's magnum opus, RRR, starring Junior NTR and Ram Charan in the lead roles on Wednesday bagged five 2023 Critics' Choice Award nominations. In the Best Picture category, RRR is competing with Avatar, The Way of Water, Babylon, The Bashies, Evan Sharon, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablement, Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, and Women Talking. Whoa! Rajmoli also bagged a nomination for Best Director, and he's competing with the likes of James Cameron, Damien Chazelle, and Steven Spielberg. The film also secured a spot in the Best Visual Effects, Best Foreign Language Film, and Best Song for Natu Natu categories. These Critic Choice Award nominations come a few days after the film bagged two 2023 Golden Globe nominations for Best International Film and Best Song. The film has garnered various other international awards, including Rajmoli's Best Director Award by the New York's Film's Critics Circle. It also won the Saturn Award for Best International Film. The National Border Review named RRR as one of its 10 best films of the year. And M.M. Kiramani, the music director of the film, was recently awarded the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Award for Best Musical Score. RRR also stars Ajay Devgan and Alia Bhatt and was released on March 24th of this year and has grossed over RS1200 crore worldwide. We're wishing the RRR all the best of luck in its upcoming award season.